there's going to be times where you have a small background and you want to extend it beyond your subject. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our background, pick whatever selection tool you choose. I like the quick selection tool in CS6. It allows me to quickly select my subject. And you can use the magnetic lasso, the lasso, you can use whatever is comfortable for you. Now when you go out of your out of bounds here, I guess, hit Alt and just back it off. And let's go ahead and select the rest of this jacket and his pants. Another little section here, let's hit Alt and back it back in, push it back in. Okay. Now the middle section here, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and use the lasso tool with a zero feather, hit shift, and select everything that's within because I'm not too concerned about detail. There we go. Without zooming in and fine tuning my selection, I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do next. Hit refine edge. I choose the um, overlay because you have black you have white, marching ants, and so on. Overlay allows me to see my background. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to show you where it's critical. The hair is critical, so I'm not going to touch anything but the Refine Edge Radius tool. And I'm going to start painting in and make my brush a little bigger. You can either bracket up or on a Wacom, you can program your brush in your Wacom tool. But the whole idea is to make this look real. I guess as Joel Grimes would say, sell the fake. You don't want it to look pasty, cut out. You want it to look like she has real hair. And that's all I'm going to do here. I am not going to go with the rest of this tutorial and show you how to outline and make a selection. The idea is to show you how to extend that background. I'm going to use new layer with layer mask. Say OK. I'm going to make this full screen. Now, by default, it, it, it hides your previous background layer. I always keep my background layer just because I'm going to select my background copy at this point. I'm going to go ahead and hit my marquee tool. Whether you have a zero feather or a 25, 50, that's up to you. It depends on the feather you want. I'm going to go ahead and make a selection of my background. That's it. At this point, Control T. What I want to do now is I want to expand. I'm just dragging from each side my background. And what's happening is it's filling in behind my subject. The larger the feather, the more of a, of a soft edge you'll have. You can do zero and not press it out as much, or you could do what I just did here. Go ahead and, and commit. Control D to deselect. And folks, that's pretty much it. Now that you have a layer mask, you can zoom into these spots right here and get rid of them. Hit B for brush and just take them away. Make sure, of course, you have black or white selected for your for your uh, layer mask. Hit X to reverse it and take that back. And any other spots, go ahead and just erase it. Make sure you're on 100% opacity. And pretty much, um, am I worried about pixel degradation here? No, pixel destruction, I don't care. It's a white background. If it's a colored background, a black background, I don't care. This tutorial is for your papered, seamless backgrounds that don't fit, that you want to extend beyond your subjects. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.